Welcome to Cultura Latina. This week we're enjoying two different expressions of Latin culture from Peru and Argentina. First, we're going to Buenos Aires, where a culinary festival is taking place to promote their gastronomy and food customs. Then back to Lima, where the Museum of Art is showing the historical Peruvian art. Wanna come? <laughs> Argentina is known for its delicious and world-renowned meats, pizzas and pastries, but also a whole movement of restaurants, local independent producers get together once a year to show their best stuff at the Raiz Gastronomic Festival. I'm sure this will make you hungry. The Gastronomic Festival Raiz is a celebration of the Argentine cuisine. It is often defined as a mix of flavors and scents that brings together different products and habits from every corner of Argentina. The festival has been going for three years and has counted on the participation of some of the best food and drink vendors in the country. It's surprising how every year you can see something different here. There is always something new that is motivating, exciting, that makes you want to attend. I like that anybody can come to the festival and learn more not only about our local foods and beverages, but also they can learn and use these public spaces for recreation. Actually, people have been really kind here, both security guards and the public. It's my first time here, and it seems really cool. Latin American influence is present in Raiz, with Bolivian peanut soup, Peruvian ceviche and Venezuelan arepas. Raiz also offers basic lessons of cooking fundamentals that are a reminder of the cultural diversity of Argentina. Even when Lima is commonly known for its mind-blowing food, it also has a remarkable art history. And recently, the Museum of Art is honoring that with a carefully cured collection of pre-Columbian art and ceramics. Take a look. The Museum of Art of Lima recently opened a permanent exhibition this September with 1,700 pieces that represent a historical sample of Peruvian art. One of the oldest pieces is from 1500 BC, a ceramic bottle with the shape of a contortionist. It's probably a person who had the Marfan syndrome, with a certain elasticity in the limbs. The museum is managed by civil society, but it has the largest collection of Peruvian art and covers art ranging from pre-Columbian times up to the modern art of today. The largest piece in the exhibition is a large painting by Luis Montero that portrays the burial of the last Inca, Atahualpa. It is one of the first paintings of national history created in Peru, and the idea was to find a moment that can be considered foundational, a key moment in history, the moment the Spaniards defeat the last Inca. A piece that had additional historical and political significance during the Spanish invasion is the anonymous portrayal of a relative of the indigenous revolutionary leader Tupac Amaru. Manuela Tupac Amaru is also one of the stars of the collection. The painting represents an Andean woman belonging to nobility who claimed to be an Incan descendant. It remained hidden until after the Tupac Amaru Rebellion and was rediscovered recently in 1970. Photography is also part of the Mali Museum's collection, which displays many revealing pieces from the era of the aristocratic republic. The tapatas were the emblematic images of Lima for a long time. They represent women who went out to the streets protected by a veil. They went out without a companion, supposedly to do mischievous things. Their image was closely associated with debauchery, but also with liberty. The exhibition finishes with modern art pieces. Two of them are of particular importance since they are portrayals of two different aspects of the most renowned Peruvian philosopher and political thinker in history, José Carlos María Tegui. That was great, right? I'll expect you again next week for another amazing taste on Latin American culture. See you then.